let me out alone Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Sorry I'm putting you there because I'm recording on my phone. I forgot my camera at home. Today has been one of the crazy busiest days in a very long time. Um, I haven't even started my vlog and it is 3.30 p.m. I woke up this morning, I had a call from 7 to like 12 o'clock and then I had to go to grocery store and I just finished up and on top of all this craziness and busyness our home internet is disconnected ever since last night we don't have any internet and my phone um, internet is so slow so slow that I was having such a hard time working today I connected my computer to my hotspot but it is very slow um, so yeah, it's just been driving me crazy and probably we're not gonna have internet for like three days Which is insane. Obviously with quarantine everyone being home It is very difficult to not have internet and everything works with the internet The TV works with the internet the computer everything works with the internet I have to upload my video tomorrow and with just my phone internet It will probably take forever for it to upload but I mean, it is what it is. I have to do what I have to do. So yeah, besides that, all is good. So today is a very exciting day because I'm getting my hair done. Anya, who's my one of my friends, she does hair. So she's gonna come do my hair. And I just wanna let you guys in advance that we're gonna be cautious. I still don't know how, up, like, how much I'm gonna do. Uh, how much of highlights I'm gonna do probably I won't bring it too high up because I kind of like this darker roots um, but at the same time I miss being a blondie so I will probably bring it like up to here but I will see what she suggests most of you guys voted for me to go like that icy blonde um, but personally I really want something soft and like golden so I don't know what to do um, yeah that's that my nails are cheaping like there is no tomorrow and i'm so happy i didn't spend a lot of time into doing that french that i wanted to do in the previous vlog i would have been pissed i think i did that french like two days ago three days ago and it already cheaped like it is bad my nails estates are bad so i'm gonna get my hair done today and probably tomorrow i'll do my nails again because that's what we do every two days and every three days we do our nails so frustrating but I know first world problem but yeah I've been chatting for a very long time to you guys so I'm gonna go and probably I'll when I see you guys again I will have blonde hair Ticking off the wall. I need to make the front lighter. I feel like it yeah. blends in too much. Okay, so we did the hair. Um, it came out beautiful, but I personally panic when my roots are this blonde. Like, I like my natural roots. So, at 10 p.m., we're gonna do all of this all over again. And by the way, my makeup came up all the way. What? Sailor's pissed off. But yeah, we're gonna darken my roots and brighten this just a little bit um, so it's more of what I like. 
Good morning, everyone. Today is a very cold day. Literally, we are in 60s. Last week, it was in 90s and very much close to 100. And this week, we are in our 60s. It is the next day. I think I saw you guys last when I was getting my hair done. So um, it took longer than expected. Poor Anya did my hair probably like three times. So I didn't like it. I don't even like it right now. That's why she's come, coming over again in like an hour or so, so we can redo my hair. I don't know how to say it, but it is not what I had in mind. I like this length of it, but I would just want more blonde here and a little bit more of a blending. And um, that should be good. Yeah, so we'll see exactly. I don't know what we're going to exactly do. But I thought I'll just put some face on because with blonde hair, um, you look like a ghost when you don't have anything on. And I just don't feel very much comfortable. So I'm going to put just a little bit of a tinted moisturizer and a little bit of face on. Um, so I'll feel more comfortable. Um, this morning, I cleared out my schedule yesterday for today. So I have nothing to do today work related. Like absolutely nothing. And I haven't had a day like that in probably 6-7 months. I just used the Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturizer. I'm still recording, uh, but that's by choice. <laughs> Since we're doing a hair color vlog, I was like, let me just take you guys along. And why not show it to you guys the struggles that I go through as a blonde person? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just gonna put on a um, little bit of makeup really quick just so I have a little bit of color on my face and get dressed because i think she's gonna be here shortly and i will speak to you guys as soon as i am ready and dressed no one's stopping me now i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just wanna feel alive it's just what i do when i'm out so try not to hold me Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not So I just got ready I'm just wearing this um, sweater I'm comfortable on my cycling shorts Because I want to be comfortable And it's cold And I when you know one thing i can't stand when getting your hair done is when they wash your hair they have to wash with the cold water and you guys know i'm cold 24 7. wish me luck with this hair situation if i was able to vlog i sure will if not i'll see you guys after i'm done with my hair and my hair is done i feel like myself again this morning i wasn't feeling my hair obviously i told you guys i'm changing it i'm sorry my makeup is really bad because i washed my hair too uh, but i feel like myself again this is literally the hair that i wanted the dark roots and the like bright like bottoms um obviously i have to wash my hair yet like after doing any kind of highlight until you don't wash your hair after a few days like it takes a couple of weeks for it to be exactly what i want because it's just what it is with blonde hair it's always is better after two weeks of washing it and all of that uh but yeah i'm gonna probably put a treatment um even though she did put a treatment on it i'll still put a treatment tonight on it and uh, i'm gonna probably put olaplex on it so yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'm just gonna go have lunch and then do my fake tan and probably see you guys tonight when i'm doing my um olaplex Good afternoon everyone We have a very very sleepy me I totally forgot that I was supposed to do my Olaplex with you guys And I was just about to start it um, Then I remembered that I promised to do it with you guys I was honestly even forgetting to do it um, I'm so tired and probably I have really red eyes um, But yeah uh, I applied my face tattoo as you guys can see And it makes me so 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 happy Like 
my mood immediately changed with the tan it just feels amazing so yeah um my hair looks a little bit yellow in the camera i don't know why regardless we're gonna do purple shampoo tomorrow so yeah i still haven't regretted going this blonde but i'm probably within like a month i'll have regretted so yeah i have to put purple shampoo on it so i feel like better about it but i'm just gonna apply my um olaplex on it just make sure you brush your hair so there's no tangles you can wet your hair and apply to the wet hair i personally don't like that because i can't sleep with wet hair let me grab it clips really quick yeah i can't sleep with wet hair so i won't apply to wet hair i'll just do it to dry hair and honestly it works perfectly fine so what i do is basically i divide my hair into three to four sections i go one from my ears and i just collect it up i do this just so i can distribute the product everywhere and then take my Olaplex and I get a pretty gen oops, like a generous amount, like this much. And I just from top to the bottom, I apply it to my hair. And I next go to the, like a midsection. And I just do the same thing. For sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. And then for the top layer, obviously this my hair specifically has the most damage, and I think most people's is the same. I add a little bit more like on it, just so it look completely saturated. If it's your first time using Golaplex, don't leave it overnight because I've heard that it gets along with some people's hair and it doesn't get along with others. So like don't leave it overnight in case like it doesn't get along with your hair. It works like magic on personally on my hair. Bleached my hair two days back to back and that's like intense on hair, especially on a hair that is already not so healthy which was the case with my hair so even though the cream is like wet and it makes your hair wet but it is not as uncomfortable as like actual wet hair like soaking wet hair so i can sleep like this easier but when it is very much um wet and then this comes on top of it like i feel like my head is freezing and i can't sleep like that so this is um not like horrible it doesn't stain my um thing um pillowcase like none of that i just like when i sleep because i'm so used to silk pillowcase i don't put anything on it i know so bougie uh, i don't put anything on it it's just the next morning when i'm washing my hair obviously will change my pillowcase as well because the products will get into it so yeah that is it i will just leave this on overnight and then tomorrow one morning when i get up i will just wash it off and we will have silky smooth hair but obviously i'll show you guys that tomorrow so that is it i will link that all for you guys in the description box below if you have damaged hair i would highly advise like um using it anya my um hairdresser and my friend she's very much against this she doesn't like it but i see how good it works on my hair so it can be a personal preference i guess so yeah i want to go to bed now because i'm literally falling asleep and i will see you guys tomorrow morning um i'm gonna do uh purple shampoo tomorrow um, on my hair uh, because I noticed few places look a little bit brassy in person they're not as bad but in the camera it was brassier so I don't know if the camera has warm tone I don't know what it is so yeah but tomorrow regardless I'm gonna put a purple shampoo on it and hopefully that wouldn't be too damaging hopefully this will nourish it enough so I can tomorrow put purple shampoo on it so I'll speak to you guys tomorrow morning it is a really miserable day Good morning everyone, it is very early, it is like 6.30 in the morning and I already showered, washed my hair, put a purple shampoo on it and to be honest with you guys, I'm ready for another nap session. 
um, I haven't slept well last night at all I kept waking up I don't know why like I would sleep very heavily then I would just wake up maybe I was having dreams but I don't remember my dreams so yeah I don't know what was happening but I woke up to the most miserable day like it's as gray as it can be I know it doesn't look like that in the camera but it is very gray there's not like a slight sun in the sky not so great but whatever <laughs> I woke up I showered and I just poured myself a cup of coffee um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not but I still drink my lemon water as soon as I wake up and then within like 30 minutes I start drinking my coffee because I cannot function without coffee like I'm not a human so yeah I had my coffee and now I'm gonna wait almost like 30 minutes to 45 minutes for my hair to dry a little bit then I'm gonna blow dry it and probably I'll blow, blow dry it with you guys um, I don't know why am I having so many breakouts like it was like a month and a half two months I didn't have any and all of a sudden they're all coming back and this one is so painful like if I touch it it's on a nerve I guess it hurts so bad so I don't even touch them I just left them alone but um, I think it's all the chocolate that I've been having like we got this really big big chocolate um, as a Christmas gift and it expired in I think August so we opened it up yeah I'm trying to finish it up all by myself ridiculous yeah I know <laughs> I'm gonna have my coffee because I don't want to keep yawning and then i will blow dry my hair with you guys we'll put on some makeup get ready for the day and i want to show you guys the new entryway i haven't redecorated it yet i just um we just installed the, a new mirror uh, which i'm absolutely loving uh, but we will restyle that area together and then um, i want to show you guys a few of my favorite coffee table books because i get questions a lot on it and we'll take the day as it goes so i'm gonna drink my coffee and speak to you guys when i'm blow drying my hair i just got dressed did my makeup and i left my hair to do it with you guys um, my hair is almost completely dry so the I'm hoping the process will be faster. Oh, let me first. I'm gonna apply this Bumble and Bumble um, heat protectant. I'm so sorry if it's really dark in here, but there is not a lot of natural lights that comes in right now. I personally don't like my vanity light because it's very yellow and strong. So I hope it's not gonna be too horrible. Uh, but what I'm gonna use. First, I applied this. Um, any kind of heat protectant, for sure. Apply heat protectant if you have blood, like um, damaged hair. Even if your hair is not damaged, but be more cautious of it if it is damaged. I think a couple of vlogs ago, I talked about their Revlon hair blow dryer. Um, I absolutely love that. It's a very quick and easy way to blow dry your hair. But nothing ever will replace my Dyson. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair with the Dyson. Um, it's just what I absolutely love and I notice it gives me the smoothest hair like I can go into like these little broken pieces uh, while with the Revlon one it's a little bit more difficult and I feel like I keep adding more heat so I'll go in with my Dyson and just any round brush um, this one is a sport net it's just a regular hair brush it's nothing fancy uh, but it gets the job done it smooths my hair so i'll put you guys on a time lapse obviously because i'm gonna turn on my blow dryer um and i will link the dyson one for you guys so many of you are asking me if it's worth investing money in and i would absolutely say yes but if i was to rebuy it i would get the one that has different kind of attachment because obviously you can use that more and they're just a little bit more expensive i think this was like 400 dollar and the other one is like 550 something like that. I might be completely wrong let's see hey Google how much is Dyson um, hair blow dryer on the website money.cnn.com they say the British engineering firm launched its high-end Dyson supersonic hair dryer in the US on Wednesday with a price tag of $399 to find out more, okay, this is four hundred dollars. Google Home or Google Assistant app. Hey Google, how much is Dyson Airwrap? 
On the website Bustle.com, they say, the Dyson Airwrap Styler is a whopping $499 at its most affordable. Hey Google, stop. Okay, so this is $400 and the one with different attachments is $500. So it's just $100 more expensive. But you get obviously like I think six different heads or something like that. So magic. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to just blow dry uh, my hair from top. And I don't do anything fancy. Just run brushing it basically. So let's get this hair rolling. I'm very blonde. I'm very much aware of it. And I have my hair is so poofy. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Gizu oil. I'm running out of it. I just ordered it um, off of Revolve. Um, it's gonna get here on May 30th. I think it's gonna get shipped because it's on back order and I was not able to find it anywhere. I absolutely love this oil. I've been using it for like two years, ever since it launched, like three years. And you literally don't need this oil. This is my second bottle in three years. And I use a lot, obviously, because I wear extensions too. I use it on my extensions too. So, so it just smells absolutely amazing and it makes my hair shine. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I'm trying to, I'm gonna see. What are we today? Uh, I mean, it's just two weeks away, so hopefully it will arrive soon. I'm gonna use until it's last drop. Okay, that's enough. I have a lot of baby hair, like a lot. So, yeah. This is my hair, blow dried without no extension, it's just my hair and I don't even think my extension color will match this so probably we have to go extension free for a little while which is I'm not mad about it, I'm totally fine um, yeah I'm very blunt, I'm very much aware but I've, as you guys can see the purple shampoo brightened it a little bit um, I don't know how to make these little hairs stay down I don't want to apply um, what do you call it? Um, I don't want to apply hairspray because hairspray doesn't get along with my hair very well. It makes my hair very frizzy and it's just not a good look. So, yeah. Um, as you guys can see, the purple shampoo brightened it a little bit, um, it made it a little bit more blonde, um, like we were not already blonde, but yeah, it just brightens it a little bit and takes the brassiness away. But I'm absolutely loving how it looks now, I'm probably within a month, month and a half, I'm gonna bug Anya to make it a little bit darker and go a little bit more golden blonde, caramel blonde, but yeah, this is my hair. So. I haven't had breakfast yet, um, I will go ahead and make myself a smoothie and then we will get to the entryway and redecorating the entryway together. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And, um, and redecorating the entryway together. I just wanted to show you guys the entryway, um, the mirror, um, it is not decorated. Um, I mean, I don't know how to decorate it to be honest with you, so I just want to play around with other um, coffee table hooks or I might just leave it as is. I still don't know, uh, but I want to for sure change up the coffee table just a little bit because I got two new books that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So I want to just play around with it and decorate it just a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if I showed it to you guys. I think I did a little bit earlier in the vlog that our pool is under maintenance. And with today's rain, 
it postponed it because there were a few holes in them and they were trying to fix it and they were supposed to come today um, to finish things up and start painting I think from the end of this week but all of that got postponed so probably everything will start next week even though today was the only day that was raining but the guy who's supposed to come is busy he can't do it so everything will continue next week it is what it is so yeah so now to the entryway so this is the new mirror obviously we had a ram mirror there but now it is this one um i wanted something gold and vintagey but i didn't want to go for the anthropology one because i know everyone has that and this one was more my style more of what i was looking for i wanted something a little bit more yellow than like brass so this is a new one key holder and everything is the same but i'm thinking of changing it up just a little bit but we will see how i get along with it so let's rearrange this i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just wanna feel alive it's just what i do when i'm out so try not to hold me down feel alive when i'm in this town look at those beautiful stars i wanna drive a faster car nothing can break me no no nothing can break me try I just finished up rearranging everything and um, it is a cold day by the way I had to wear my like pink fuzzy socks because it's really cold um, out of nowhere it got really cold but yeah I just finished up rearranging things and I'm absolutely loving how it looks um, so let me show you guys what I've done starting with this area um, I put the tray here with the forks and the knives and napkin holder and this full flower that I had from before over here we tend to use this area a little bit more than the actual dining table so I was like this is more useful here I have to actually add the coasters too so let me quickly grab them this marble coasters looks better here so there they go I think this came out so much better and we can actually use the tray to move everything. This is a new update on this area. And then the entryway table. So this is how I arranged it. Um, while I show you guys things, I'll show you guys my favorite coffee table books as well. So you guys can see how I decorate them. So this book is one of my absolute favorites this is one of my recent purchases it is a architectural digest book it is absolutely beautiful inside like when i got it i was browsing through it for like hours so it's absolutely stunning and adding a light um book here it just brightened up this whole entire area and i added the diana hunter statue here my white matches and my new candle that i have a luxury candle haul for you guys i'll link it in the description box below in case you missed it um and put the h and um tray there and the same flowers from before because i figured this looks the best i want something tall and branchy and this works perfectly fine here i put the pompas there last week and i personally didn't like it so i'm just gonna leave it like this um so yeah here is the entryway so let's go to the dining table so for the dining table i got rid of the table runner because it was just making it too busy and i don't know why i like this minimalistic look for now um i just put this michael Aram um tray over here it's a cheese board um last year i got this as a birthday gift and i just took it out of the box and i put it there and put this beautiful hydrangeas inside and with two of my target candles the rest of these candles are all the way by the fireplace i'll show you guys in a minute um i really like how this looks with the um table lamp there the gold and the brass and the just the hint of black I think it looks very chic and like minimal 
This is how the dining table is looking. For the coffee table, I didn't change it a lot. Um, this is another one of my favorite, favorite coffee table books. If you're looking for an inspo, for sure get it. It is called The New Chic. I will link it for you guys. It is from Amazon. It's beautiful. If you're into like French looking houses, you're gonna absolutely love this book. Um, so I just put this book here with a candle, my um, Jonathan Adler bowl and a white cord and these beautiful roses that I got from um, Trader Joe's yesterday. Um, this round bowl is like my favorite one, but it is so hard to fill it in. So I had to like cut few roses and put it inside. So it looks a little bit more fuller. And this kind of floral design is my absolute favorite now, like with the branches like falling. So yeah, I just put it there. Uh, the underneath is the same as it was the last time. So the, for the fireplace, I just put these tall candles here. Honestly, I have nowhere else to put them. And uh, I was like, it just goes with the vibe. So I just put it there. For on top of the fireplace, I just put these two wooden little candles there. Because when it is too tall, it honestly bothers us while we are watching a TV. So this is so much better. And just one Chanel book. And I rearranged the shelf just a little bit, just moved things around. This Tom Ford book, I put it all the way on the top because it's my favorite book ever and it needs the entire attention. <laughs> so I put it all the way on the top uh, with my the most expensive luxury candle I could buy. So it is there. And then uh, the pompas. And then when you come down, it's just books and candles basically. Uh, I want this Paris to show a little bit more. So let's just move it this way. So I just rearranged the second um, level because I like this better. The Paris was getting lost all the way in the back. Uh, so here are another few of my favorite books. The Chanel book is the same as the other one that I showed you guys. This one. Um, it's absolute like Chanel books are all my favorite. This is a Vogue magazine September issue. This is a restoration hardware magazine. I just kept it here. And then this is another one of my favorite books. It's styled. I got this from um, Home Goods. And then obviously the Love, Style, and Life book. This is another favorite of mine. It's like the beautiful blush. So if you're into blush books, you're gonna absolutely love this. Um, and I'm not gonna go through the objects. I have a whole shelf styling video. I'll link it for you guys. Um, but I'll just mention the books because I want to introduce a few of my favorite books to you guys. Um, this is another Megan Hess um, Chanel book. Um, it's actually a very informative book if you actually go through it and read it. I learned a lot of cool facts about um, Coco Chanel from this book. So I will link this for you guys for sure. Read through it. And then we come down to another favorite books. This is a new purchase as well. And just looking at the cover, you guys can tell how obsessed I would be with this book. And the inside is even more prettier. Um, like you have, you guys have no idea how much like randomly I will go through these books and just read them because I'm obsessed with home decor um, books. They inspire me and they just like make me happy. So I just put this book here by itself because it's again one of my favorite books. It deserves the entire attention. Uh, a candle, a anthropology waste, and my Paris statue, and a fake uh, flower. Then we go to the blur level. We have another favorite book, obviously, the White Company book. If you're into white, minimal looking everything, you're gonna absolutely love this. You guys know I'm obsessed with the White Company. Um, I no, I'm not gonna go through each book because obviously a lot of money was spent for creating these books. I just don't want to give everything away. So that's why I'm just gonna mention what I love about it if in case you're looking for it. But um, obviously the White Company is known for its white minimal design and inside of it is a lot of design and inspos with the actual White Company products. So you're, if you're a White Company fan, you're gonna absolutely love this book. And in the bottom, we have a Marilyn Monroe book because I really like her and my cousin got it for me for my birthday. 
one other book that I forgot to mention it is Elements of Style this is another fantastic interior design book if you're looking for some inspo I absolutely love the look of it the black and white it looks stunning on any kind of coffee coffee table and I matched it with my black and white H&M candle like I've been talking for the past literally 10 minutes I'm out of breath trying to go through everything and show it to you guys um, so yeah, here is the new arrangement. I hope you guys really like it. I'm gonna change things up, like obviously, depending on my mood. Uh, I'm gonna be better at buying new products and trying to use the items that I have and just arrange them in different places just to play around with them. Just like how I did now, I didn't add any new products besides the two new coffee table books that i got and there is one more that i really 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 want um the louis vuitton one um but it is very rare to get the edition that i want is a vintage one and every time i find it on ebay it's ridiculously expensive so and honestly i don't have a place to put it now so it doesn't have a special place so you can see it so for now, I'm like, this is a really good collection to begin with, and um, they're pretty useful too. They're just not decoration. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along, getting my hair done, seeing how stressed I get about my hair, how difficult it is to keep up with this blonde. This is why I don't like changing um, hair color pretty often or even getting highlights because I really stress out and you guys can literally see it in my mood. Like I stress out because I'm so scared I'm gonna damage my hair to the extent that I can't recover it or it's not gonna be what I like or I don't know or I will regret it. Just any kind of change with my hair besides cutting it. I never regret cutting my hair uh, but just I don't know. I'm very sensitive about my hair and it really affects how I feel about myself when my hair is not the way that I want it. I'm sure you guys understand what I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!